Hello and welcome to the Governland Reach webinar on how to instantly detect and remediate a missing patch. My name is Victor Cruz and I'll be your host for today. I have 14 years experience of system administration. I am also the Governland product specialist and guru of all things Governland. Just to tell you a little bit about Governland, if you don't know, it was founded in 1998, back in the Windows NT days. And it was originally built for large deployments and banks. And today we've actually scaled down to small businesses and we span the globe with over 7,000 companies that span over 110 different countries. We're also highly rated on Spiceworks, so I highly recommend you take a look at our ratings on Spiceworks and see how other Spiceworks users are uh, talking great stuff about us. A little bit about Governland Reach. Governland Reach is an endpoint management solution, and it's going to give you the ability to go ahead and manage your endpoints, whether they're internal on your network, pingable, or outside, external, anywhere around the globe as long as they have an internet connection. And what you'll be able to do is, of course, go ahead and manage your machines with a remote control session. But what Governland specializes in is background management of your devices. So being able to do complex management tasks on one machine or multiple machines around the globe in bulk without having to disturb your users. And today we're going to work a little bit with the IT process automations module, which is what's going to assist us in managing all of our devices in bulk. Now here's the action plan for today. Um, the first process automation we're going to create is a very simple query against your endpoints to figure out what machines have very simply Windows updates available. From there, we're gonna go ahead and create a more detailed action that's gonna give us a specific report on what updates are currently installed, but specific updates that we're looking for. I'm gonna show you how to report on the success and failure and then of course, we're gonna dive into the remediation of the patches. So let's go ahead and dive right into the demo. This is the Governland admin console, and this is our welcome page that has some resources here. And then we have our three main modules. The first is administration and diagnostics. Again, we're not gonna go into a and I just wanna show you a little bit of what a and can do when it comes to managing one machine. This is your solution that's gonna assist you managing those one-off issues or a handful of machines if you need to as well. And here I'm gonna very simply go ahead and search for a machine. I'm gonna hit set focus. It's gonna bring me to the view of the machine. And as you can see, these are all the different tools that we have to go ahead and manage our devices in the back end without disturbing our users. But what we're gonna go ahead and do today is just work on the Windows Updates feature. So this is how it looks to go ahead and launch the Windows Updates tool. And what you're gonna see is that the Windows Updates tool gives you all the abilities as if you were locally logged on to the machine, but of course you're in the back end without disturbing your user. And as you can see here, I can go ahead and, and select to download the update or install it if I want to and check out the update history as well. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Again, this is your one-off issues where you need to resolve issues with one machine or, or a handful as you can see here. Of course, we do have our remote control and monitor module down below which is gonna give you the ability to gain remote control over your machines no matter where they are in the world. But today we're covering our process automation module. Now the process automation module automatically doesn't come with any process automations, but be aware that in our welcome page, we do have the IT Automation Center with pre-created process automations. Process automations is your one-to-many solution. It's gonna give you the ability to go ahead and manage your machines in bulk and be able to react to them whenever you need. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly create the first process automation, which is figuring out what machines on your network have any Windows updates available. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit add new and give it a name, in this case, report all machines with Windows spell updates available. And keep it in my reports category. First part of our process automation is a scope, and here we're basically selecting uh, the list of target objects that we want to manage. You can go ahead and select an internal, internal devices by IP range, whether they're domain machines, work group machines, um, external devices. In this case, we're going to work with domain machines, and I'm going to go ahead and select specific OU. In this case, I'm going to select my demo workstations OU, and I'm going to select my domain controllers OU as well. Just so you can see how Governland can function on these uh, high level machines like domain controllers. And that's pretty much it. I went ahead and selected the group of devices that I wanna go ahead and manage. Now we come to the second part, 
which is the action. In this case, we're going to double click add new. And here up top, we have the action area and we're going to select add remove and select what we want to do. In this case, we're reporting against something. And as you can see here, this is all the dynamic data that the Goverland agent can send back to the Goverland admin console. Up top, I'm going to use our search menu. And of course, there's a ton of data that we can report on. In this case, we're just working with Windows updates. So I'm going to type in Windows. And here, select what I want. I just very simply want to know the number of available updates on the machines. Now, in the condition area, I want to be able to go ahead and skip over machines that don't have any updates available, which essentially are the machines that are currently updated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the condition against the same value that we're trying to report against. And then I'm going to use greater than zero. So in this case, we're basically telling Goverland, I want to know the available updates of any machines whose available updates are greater than zero. Very simple and direct. We hit OK, next. And now we're going to what we want to do against these machines next. So I'm going to go ahead and run this now. And here at the below, I can go ahead and select the different report formats. In this case, I'm using the HTML. In the second action, I'm going to go ahead and show you how Microsoft Excel works. So as you can see here, once I hit run, Goverland is going to instantly go ahead and query the machines directly. And it's going to do so live. And then here on the right, I can click the show details area. And it's going to give you a little bit of a splash screen of exactly what's going on. This is what's great and what's different about Goverland. We're doing everything live and instantly against the machines, which is extremely critical when a security patch or a security flaw comes out and Microsoft patches it instantly. Goverland does everything live first. So as you can see here, this is the HTML report. We got machines that came back, where they're located, which in this case I selected a workstation OU and then the available updates. Very simple and direct. And that was our first action. It's a very simple and direct action that's gonna give us the ability to go ahead and just get a nice little snapshot of what machines currently have Windows updates. Let's go a little bit more deeper into process automations with the second action. Now, the second action is gonna give you the ability to figure out an exact Windows update that you're looking for. Now, when it comes to security updates for Windows machines, Microsoft has a specific name in the Windows update title to identify the certain update. So in this case, the ones we're looking for are updates that contain the word rollup in it and communicative because these specific updates are the ones that have the patches for like WannaCry that came out and all these other ransomwares that attack Windows operating systems that Microsoft patched. So here I'm just gonna double click this pre-created action just so you can see how it looks. Same scope as before. And here's the action here. So the only difference, we went ahead and still kept the number of available updates. The only difference is that we added a report action that tells us the, the update titles of every report result. And the available updates, which update title contains rollup or cumulative. Very simple. Also be aware that when you're using the available updates condition or the report action, Goverland is essentially asking the machine, hey, I want to know what updates you have available since the last time that you checked for updates, which means that that's at the discretion of the automatic update check for update setting on the machine. So if a machine checked updates a month ago, Goverland is going to give you back that data from the last time it checked. Of course, you can include an action that tells Goverland, hey, first check for updates and then go ahead and report, but be aware that some Windows machines, as you all should know, take a little while to check for updates and bring those in. So that might be a little bit of a delay. It might be beneficial to, for example, run an action that checks for updates the day before, and then go ahead and create your report for the day after so you know that they're all fresh. But that's about it. We went ahead and added these two actions. We hit OK, and I'm going to show you how that data looks. Now, I ran this earlier, and what's cool about this is that I can right-click the report, hit select report format, and I don't have to rerun it to change the report format that I'm looking for. So in this case, we're just gonna look for the Excel document. So here I hit okay. Excel's gonna go ahead and open, and this is how our Excel sheet looks. 
The first tab is the computer tab, which gives us one of the report items we looked for, which was the amount of Windows updates available. But this case, we didn't get as much results before because we had a condition now that said we only want updates to have the word rollup or cumulative in it. That's why we had less results. And down below, we have a sheet for the second data set, which was the update title. And the update title needed to contain cumulative update. And as you can see here, some of these machines have two updates that need to go ahead and be installed, and we get that. And that's it. This is more of an informational, as you can see, and this is going to give you exact information on one specific security update you're looking for. And it's in Excel, so you can manipulate that however you please. What you can also do to this action after running it and getting the data that you're looking for is right-click it, go to the scheduler, and create a schedule for it. I did create a schedule earlier, so I'm just going to modify everything that I did earlier. So I can click the schedule tab. Um, what's cool is that we can schedule it to do monthly on the first Tuesday of every month, which, as you know, is the Patch Tuesday, Microsoft's Patch Tuesday. So we can schedule this to go ahead and run on the day that Microsoft goes ahead and release new patches or the day after, just to give those machines a leeway to go ahead and check for updates when they need to. After that, I come to the post execution options, put in my SMTP settings, and Goverland will automatically email me the execution report, which is the report status of failure and success, and the output report, which is the data points, like the update title and the amount of updates are available. Up top, we can also select the output format, so be aware of that. And that's pretty much it. Every time this runs, I will get an email with the data points and the results. So now we went ahead and covered reporting all of our machines, getting a specific security update. How do we go ahead and remedy this? And what's cool about Government is that we can reuse actions that we did before because we know this second action here already gives us valid data that we're looking for, which is essentially machines that have cumulative or rollups available. So I'm simply going to right click this and hit add new copy. Here I'm just going to modify it. So instead of reporting, I'm going to change it to patch. And I'm also going to add it to a new category that I want to create called patch. And I'm going to put scans and patches, all machines that have the security rollup available. Computer's scope is the same one we selected before. And the action is going to be the same that we had before as well. Now, the only thing we're going to do here is add something to this, because we definitely want to keep the report data points. We also want to keep the update title. And all we're going to do is hit add, remove, execute this time. And here, of course, you can see all the awesome actions that we have against devices from software deployment to managing printers to network devices. We're going to use the search up top in this case, just for Windows updates. And I'm simply going to say request to install all updates. Here I can give it an argument and select if I only want to do driver or software updates. In this case, I am only going to put software because if there are driver updates available, like a video driver, for example, that can take a ton of time to install. So I just want Goverland to hit the software updates. And that's it. I'm basically telling Goverland for the list of machines that I selected previously that come back with an available update title that contains rollup or cumulative, I want you to give me the report. And I also want you to install all of these updates that are available. And that's it. It really is that simple. Once we hit OK, we go to Next. Governant keeps that same SMTP settings that we had before. And here we can go ahead and set up a schedule if we want for it. I keep on running. And we can go ahead and say once a week Monday. And that's pretty much it. I'm just going to put it to run later and hit Finish. And as you can see here, now we have the ability to go ahead and remediate against these devices. Once this goes ahead and runs and we get that schedule, we're going to get a report on the results as well. And finally, if we want to go ahead and determine the success of the results, look what we have here. We have the same exact report that we already had scheduled earlier that's going to give us machines that have the updates available. So what's great about this is that Goverland will go ahead and patch. And then the next time number two runs, it's just going to give you a results of any machines that don't have any updates available. So you can see that as well. Of course, 
The exact action itself has its execution results. We're gonna show you the success and failures for machines that may be offline. And just tapping on some extra info like the offline machines, you can include a wake on LAN action, for example. Of course, you need to make sure that you do have wake on LAN configured, but just to show you here, you can go ahead and go into the action and simply create and execute wake on LAN action here. And what's great about Governant is it does everything that you have set up here in order. So I can leave this action here, double click add new, and then I can hit execute and go down to my power options and set up a wake on LAN right here, action. And what's cool is that this will run first here on those machines that are offline, and then it'll go ahead and run the action next, so be aware of that. And of course, we also have all the other machines, again, that you have selected in your scope, which I'm gonna show you that as well. Be aware that if you select and add an OU, if you add an IP range for those workgroup machines, or just an IP range for domain machines as well, or even external devices, any new machines that are added to the OU, any new machines that are added to the IP range or the external devices container, Every time the process automation runs, Governland requeries these containers. So be aware that every time it runs, Governland will capture any new machines that are added and it's not static. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, also be aware, you can check our YouTube page, youtube.com forward slash Governland. Has a lot of cool resources for implementing Governland and stuff like that. You can also schedule a live demo with us. We have them Monday through Thursday. If you just go to governland.com, right at the top, you'll see schedule a demo. You can also start a trial with us, a 30-day trial that's gonna include every single feature you saw here and our entire enterprise edition for 30 days for up to five admins. So feel free to go ahead and take a look at that. If you do have any questions, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Q&A and chat. Will the machines be rebooted after patching? That's our first question. So it, it really depends on the, on the update itself. Whenever you do install the update, Governland doesn't cause the update to reboot. If I'm correct, it definitely won't reboot the machines, but I'll have another question. On your example, it said download and install all updates. Well, it only updates the one with rollup and cumulative selected by the above criteria or is it all updates? It will, the action we just specifically just did right now will do all software specific updates. But if you only want to specifically hit just the, that one security update, you can. You just need some information from the machine. So I'll just show you how to do that. In administration and diagnostics, you can go to Windows Updates, go to the available update on any machine that has the update available that you're looking for. And as you can see here, I can right click it and I can say copy update to clipboard, for example. And I can come here to the process automation and instead of doing request to install all updates, I can hit execute Windows updates and install a specific update. Let me just add that. Once you do that there, that's it. It'll just go ahead and execute it only on machines that evaluate to true and have that specific update. And you can add them. You can add multiple updates as well if you need to for the other operating systems. Any other questions here? All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for our webinar today. Thank you all for joining and have a wonderful day.